This is your home camp. We're back playing. Uh, uh, keep wanting to say citizens of Earth. Wonderful. 101. Last time we were finishing the Blossom City outskirts, and apparently Lambo is heading off to something Roger. very important, and we probably should stop him. The wonderful 101. Alice, full speed to the goddess of blossoms. Why the rush? It is just a statue, is it not? Shows how much you know, Monsieur Smarty Pants. She's the symbol of the city. We can't just stand by and let those aliens defile her. It's worse. The super reactor powering Margarita is inside the goddess. If Geth Jerk knocks it offline, Earth is done for. Why would you keep something so important in such a yeah, and kind of thing he just said. prominent I place? Wouldn't know, you want that underground where no one could find it? Touché, Not in a tower? Goddess of Blossoms I don't know. I mean, a statue. Large jerk matter signature in the vicinity. What on earth? Oh, there it is. And it's getting nibbled on by a giant three headed dragon. So cute! Damn, it is nibbling. Once it is destroyed, the hole we blow open will leave them defenseless. Now to roll out the red carpet for an award-winning alien invasion. How do you know when an alien invasion's award-winning? Like, do you have to do something? Like, is there a certain combo multiplier you have to reach? How do you reach it? Do you have to, like, kill certain citizens? I don't understand. I need confirmation on how to get a good rank. As an Ultra alien. high res imaging on the way. That kid. Luca. <laughs> he's like a dog grabbing a giant toy. Except he has three heads. So he's like Cerberus, I guess. He is really cool looking though. He gives off a very big uh, Orochi vibe from Okame. Energy readings nominal inside the statue. I think that's probably the, the point, super though. The is still operational. Alice, full speed ahead. We're going to get back that statue. Wonderful 100. Prepare to deploy on deck. We've got new rules of engagement. I'm approving the use of unlimited form. Make the most of it, and get me back my goddess. Wow, someone's a bit possessive of her. Shirogane drive limiters deactivated. Engaging unlimited form. I mean, I guess she makes really good margarita, so I can understand. By collecting elementary atomic particles from space, wonderful ones are able to form a limitless energy source for their Sentinel suit's next generation Shirogane drives. This is emergency operation mode unlimited form. Disabling their Shirogane drive limiters, they push their suits to reach new levels of Unite Energy capacity. However, this power comes at a cost. Extended operation in unlimited form can cause considerable damage to team members, and an overheating drive can explode with teratons of force. The ultimate weapon is the ultimate double-edged sword. <laughs> I feel very beautiful Joeish right now. The wonderful 101. Incredible! Not even a Rootsy can break through this thing. The goddess of blossoms is no delicate flower. Hmm. Let's see how she holds up when we hurl her into the city from our space. Hey, jerk face! You ain't getting away from me! Where did this child come from? No matter, Orochi! To the stratosphere! I'm talking to you, you spiky-headed freak! Hold it right there, invaders! The cosplay brigade returns. The look of utility on your faces is absolutely wonderful. Don't change a thing. Just give me a second to smash your beloved goddess into 1.735 million little pieces. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna count them all, and if you're off by five, I'm telling on you. Hey, hey, don't throw that in the air. Oh, man. Just drop it. Yeah, that thing's really cool looking. Wow, he weighs a lot. Uh, that is a heavy monster. Wonderful one to below. Nice catch, doggy. Alright, so we're on the ship right now, um, and you grab it by using the, uh, the hand. And you press A to shoot, and you press B to move forward really fast. Um, you're going to want to avoid the debris, because that hurts you, obviously. But he'll also shoot fireballs, and these blue little things, um, they're actually enemies, but we do not actually fight them until uh, the next chapter. Um, if they get on the ship, it doesn't hurt you, but it does prevent you from grabbing the wheel, and will grab some of your wonderful ones, so you have to go ahead... Whoops, I actually got hit there. Um, you got to go ahead and use your uh, sword to get rid of it. Um, be careful of the debris like I showed you. I got hit by it. I don't know if it actually messes with your ranking, though, since I myself didn't get hit. I'm not sure if it will actually count or not, but it's what it is. Um, so yeah, just keep shooting. Um, when he rams into a building, you're going to want to press B so you can go forward really fast. Because if that thing hits you, it does a lot of damage. I don't know if hitting his head does more damage than hitting his body. I feel like it does, but I'm not 100% sure. So don't quote me on pretty good way to get some more combo points to shoot their uh, fire blasts. You can just avoid them if you want, but I always like just shooting them because that way I know I definitely don't have to worry about them later. Because sometimes uh, my depth perception isn't always the best, so it's a little hard for me sometimes to tell if I've actually shot them. Careful of the bridge underneath you. You can go underneath it or over it. I went over it so I could continue shooting the Orochi. But um, you just gotta be careful not to hit it. Careful of the, careful of the building parts. We're almost done. We're getting there. Once we get rid of this bar and the next bar, we will be able to go on to stage two. Stop shooting that gook at me. Those giant loogies. I almost feel like it's better just to shoot the body because you'll pretty much always hit. With the heads, you might miss. And that's like time you're wasting. But I feel like shooting the heads take, they take more damage. I really don't know if they do or not. Just do whatever feels comfortable. Just shoot them in the bum. That's what I do. Oh crap, ooh, ooh she's whew, that was close. Yeah, you gotta be careful of those bridges. Oop, watch out for the fireball. He's one of the red steering. He's like, how, how could he see with the big wheel in his face? I don't understand why Alice isn't steering. I get it for gameplay reasons, but I don't understand why Alice isn't driving. She's been driving this whole time. Why did she suddenly decide that Wonder Red would be a better driver? Alright, there we go. Once you've knocked out enough of their health, go ahead and find their tail, get the crosshair, and then shoot. And just keep going. You do have to make sure you stay balanced or you will fall, so just keep your character straight and it's fine. You can jump, but there's no need. It just keeps you still. It just puts you in the air for a minute. But I wouldn't jump, because it wastes time. Give me back my statue, punk. Is Lambo a Colava, like a Mega Evolved Typhlosion? Why is there not a mega evolution of Typhlosion? Or Froligator? Or Meganium? Yeah, they really need to give those guys mega evolutions. Because they gave Hoenn mega evolutions and they gave Kanto mega evolutions for the starters. Where's the other ones? You're in a little left out. Let's just grab that wing. Urgh, you're spiky wing. Alright. You're gonna want to be careful because his wings do his wings do uh, make spikes appear. They protrude out, so be careful. If you just stay on the gold or move quickly, it'll be fine. The best way to hurt Orochi is with your sword because it does have the longest reach. You could use your gun, but the gun doesn't do nearly as much damage, um, and you should be getting plenty of combos, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, now, right now we only have 37 citizens, but uh, if you hit an Orochi head enough. He will spit out some. Now you're going to want to get 50 as soon as you can because he likes to slam his head on the ground. But you can only repel it when you have 50 citizens. If you don't, it will just hurt you. Because um, some attacks are considered really big and unless you have 50 uh, wonderful ones or temporary citizens with you, it will just smash through your defense. Okay, he was about to shoot me with fire. At that point you would have wanted to summon, you would you would have wanted to grab your fist. Make sure you grab all the citizens, because you are going to need a hundred to beat this. 
So it's good to just have it out of the way now. Oh, make sure you have your fist, because with your fist, you can absorb his punches. I mean, his fire. And he killed my citizens. Whoops. Yeah, uh, enemies can actually kill your, uh, your wonderful, uh, anybody you're trying to collect. So you gotta be careful about that. It's not too big of a deal, because he'll bring out more, but it can be annoying in other, but, uh, in other places. Whoop! And take this! Arr! Eat that wall! How do you like it, huh? Get your daily dose of wall! That's so awesome. Alright, time for more sir. Oh, looks is Lambo coming out? Yep. Okay, Lambo's coming back out, and you just want to go ahead and do what you did before when you first fought him. Just make a bunch of swords and continue to punch him. Lag him. Make him lag like there's no tomorrow. Oops, dodge. His attacks are still the same, though. Uh, the only difference is that you have a lot smaller of an area. Thankfully, though, you do not have to worry about Orochi attacking you, because he will just leave you alone. He will not mess with you. He does not get in the way. And there we go. He's pretty easy to beat. Just do that, and you'll be fine. Okay, you're going to want to watch out. Shoot laser, grab your sword, and we'll reflect onto the other one. There's a lot of attacks that this guy, the Orochi does, that you can use to hurt him. So just keep an eye out for them, and you'll do plenty of damage. Yeah, we're almost done here. Keep using... Alright, here we come. Oh god, I hate this attack! No! He caught me in the middle of the air. Ugh, that attack's the worst. It's so annoying. Alright, his tongue's... Ugh. Jeez, uh, how do you impress the ladies with that thumb? Alright, just make your sword. And... Uh, toothpick in the eye! Oh my gosh, this looks brutal. Uh, yeah, you don't need that eye, because I say so. Now, you're going to need a hundred... Uh, wonderful, you're going to need a hundred people. Um, if you don't, you won't be able to do this. You'll just have to keep uh, hurting the other Orochi. For more citizens, but once you have a hundred, place them in the eye and you become Orochi. It's pretty cool. Wow, Orochi, that Orochi is really red. I never noticed that before. And now let's just tear it off. Uh, Lambo's like in the background screaming, his hands are on his head. He's like, no, how could this happen? I only got one head left, buddy. And we're coming after him. Why do you have grenades? This is kind of weird. Mother tell you to treat other people's toys with respect. Hey, you took our toy first, okay? <laughs> yeah, good job, Lambo. Whoop! All right, so this part we're this almost done. Say goodbye to your beloved. Jeez, break it through everything. I hope there's nobody in there. Team. Let's get her back. Ooh, God. So anyways, what we got to do is have your Unite hand and just throw these barrels. Um, also, when he's next to that giant barrel right there, shoot with your gun. It'll blast him. We can shoot him. All right, he's going to hurt us, so bring out your sword. Uh, the time limit's pretty damn lenient. Uh, you, you should, you'll have plenty of time. Just keep throwing these barrels, and then when you're out of barrels, just go ahead and proceed to shoot him. Okay, just be ready to jump because uh, he will start trying to destroy the platform you're on, so just make sure you're ready. Alright, shoot. It doesn't do a ton of damage shooting him, but at least it's a little experience for Wonder Green right now. Alright, you're going to want to get ready because he's going to slam his head in the ground. This is when you can do the best damage against him. Bam! Alright. Make a big ass sword. Make multi swords and just go ahead and start slicing him. Unfortunately, you don't get a ton of time to do it because he moves fairly fast. But uh, you could use your fist or your sword. I prefer to fist. I mean the sword, just because uh, it has a much longer reach and I feel it's a lot easier to hit. Woo! And he is an angry whatever he is. Okay, now he's definitely dead. Yeah, he's out of life. I'm just going to keep shooting him, though, because I think this, if I remember correctly, should give uh, just a little experience. I just want to level up my gun users as fast as I can, because they get really good abilities. I love the rainbow. Jump! Whoop. 
Ooh, man, that was a crunchy. Oh, jeez. That was close. Sorry, we don't mean to be standing on you, uh, Miss Goddess, but uh, we have nowhere else. Alright, got the sword ready. Ha! <laughs> nice catch. He really is a dog. He's so cool looking, though. Oops, didn't make the gun good enough. There we go. And just shoot the crap out of him. Yeah, sometimes you'll actually, uh, when you're using the gun in the cutscenes, you'll actually have to control the reticle. Whoa! Not so fast, worms! My Technobo would like to have a word with you! Technobo. And that word is... Die! Is that the word of the day? Ah! Be careful, you can actually get damaged here if you're not careful. Um, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but you can you can get hurt. So just be careful about that. So I wouldn't make a sword too big, but I wouldn't make it too small. It's right about this size. Right when it slows down, just go ahead and uh, slash and you should be fine. Yeah, this boss fight isn't too hard though, but it's crazy. This is the first boss fight. Can you believe it? This is the first boss fight. That is insane. This would be like a second to last boss fight in the other game. Oh, and here we go. Oh. There we go. Alright. Put your guys inside the arrow. All of them. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Sometimes it's a little finicky getting them all in there. Here we go. Ooh. Shot through the heart. I love this music. Whoops. Just grab this and this is how you finish a boss off. Chomp. Mandafik! I have not seen anyone under my sword like that! Least of all blue! Were you even watching the same fight, dude? That was all me. How could you puny humans have possibly defeated me? Feeling a bit beside yourself, Lambo? My men are less forgiving than I was. Wonder Red, I should have known. Curse you and your minions. Oops. <laughs> student in my class. His name is Luca. There we go, that is the Operation Clear. That was our first boss. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was just our first boss. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't do too well, great. The time the, the time on this one, I feel, is really strict. It's really hard to get a good ranked in time. Um, so yeah, the overall, not too bad. If I didn't get hit that one time, though, on the ship, I would have got a better score. But it's okay. It's what it is. I'm fine with gold. So yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, but you know what though, I think, well actually real quick, let's go ahead and see what's in the mart. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Ooh, there's rock, ooh, tombstone's crazy good, but let's see if we can buy, yes we can buy. We're gonna, ah, oh, there's Ukemi. I'm saving up for Ukemi. I mean, for the, um, with the, uh, uh, credit card. Okay, so we have a dodge mine, which is really good. So if we actually just go ahead. 
So basically, whenever we dodge, it will place a little mine on the ground that enemies can get blown up by. But you know what, though? I think it's a good place to end the video here, and we will go ahead and continue playing more Wonderful 101 in the next part. This is Neon Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, bye then.